Where are we? Where are we headed? Our ancestors located and oriented themselves spatially using mountains as landmarks and the stars as celestial bearings. Today, space missions face the same challenges in determining the exact position and trajectory of satellites. 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 5, 4, we have ignition. In the early years of the space era, satellite orbits were determined to within hundreds of meters. In the 1980s, the Doris system was developed to give the Topex Poseidon ocean observing mission the ability to acquire measurements accurate to one centimetre. The launch of Topex Poseidon with the Doris instrument in 1992 thus marked the start of a long adventure. Doris is able to determine a satellite's trajectory with great accuracy. The system measures the Doppler shift in signals transmitted by ground beacons around the globe that serve as reference points. A receiver on the satellite measures the frequency shift between the transmitted and received signal. Data recorded on the satellite are downlinked for processing to the Doris Mission Control Center in Toulouse, France. Today, 20 international partner organizations are working together to operate a global network of 60 ground beacons. The International Doris Service, IDS, gathers data and delivers them to the scientific community. Les performances et la fiabilité Doris's performance, reliability and continuity of service is supporting a whole suite of satellites. The SPOT series of Earth observation satellites, the forthcoming Pleiad constellation and altimetry missions like Topex Poseidon, Jason, Envisat, Cryosat 2 to be launched in February 2010, the French Indian Saral Altica KA band mission, the Chinese HY2 mission and Sentinel-3 for the European Space Agency's environmental monitoring program. On every satellite using the Doris system, its orbit determination performance is instrumental to mission success. At the start of the 1990s, measurement accuracy after processing was 10 centimeters. Today on the Jason mission, for example, we have attained centimeter accuracy. That kind of accuracy makes it possible to ascertain sea surface height at any point on the globe. It is also vital for monitoring ocean currents and mean sea level, a key indicator of global warming. More recently, satellites have been equipped with a diode navigator, enabling their position to be determined in real time and giving them a truly autonomous navigation capability. The Cryosat-2 and Pleiad missions will mark a new step forward using the diode navigator for satellite attitude control. Because it collects many highly precise measurements, Doris is able to determine a satellite's trajectory and the position of ground beacons at the same time. With one week of measurements, we can determine the position of all stations with an accuracy better than 10 millimeters. With 20 years of measurements, we can determine beacon displacement to within less than one millimeter a year. The Doris network is thus well suited to monitoring continental drift and tectonic plate motion. It also makes it possible to measure uplift of plates due to post-glacial rebound. Doris also lets us observe variations in Earth's axis of rotation and center of gravity. With its dense network of stations and continuous reliable observations, the Doris system has been helping since 1994 to maintain the International Terrestrial Reference Frame, ITRF. This is employed by all scientific applications to obtain precise ground positions and widely used by topographers and surveyors. For 20 years, the Doris system has been playing a key role serving the scientific community. Thanks to this space surveyor, CNES and its partners can look forward to many more successful missions observing and studying our planet.